Our next guest is a supermodel, an angel, and recently a supermom. Welcome, thank you. Nice. I th did you bring some here? No, you guys. You guys in the back, thank you for that. Thank you. <laughs> so, Miranda, this has been a huge, huge year for you. Mm -hmm. Very exciting things going on. What's the most exciting? And I know what you're going to say, but I want to ask you anyway. What's the most exciting thing that happened to you this year? Well, having my son and spending time with him is just the most wonderful thing in the world. So, I love being a mom. So those of you that don't know, Miranda's married to Orlando Bloom, and she has a um, child, Flynn, who's like a mini me, right? He He's looks a just little like a mini Orlando, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> but he has my cheeky personality, I think. Really? Mm -hmm. All right. How old is he? He's 14 months. Oh, wow. So he's really he's walking around you guys. Now. It's very sweet. Now, you made a major comeback after you had a baby because mm -hmm. you were in the Victoria's Secret fashion show. Mm -hmm. You wore the fantasy bra, which is a huge, huge honor. And yes. everyone's looking at you because it was the first show, the first thing that you really did after the baby, right, for yes. Victoria's Secret. Yes. So what was that whole experience like? And what did you do to get ready for that? Because I know that you have quite a routine and a regimen of exercise and nutrition. Well, I'm so passionate about health and nutrition and um, I've practiced yoga for over 10 years, so that is definitely, it definitely played a big role. And throughout my whole pregnancy, I was practicing yoga. And one thing that I probably did different after I had the baby is I increased doing Pilates. And I thought that that was quite good for my core strength. And Now, Miranda was doing yoga out here yeah. um, before. So this is really a part of your life. I mean, you do it before you're... Mm -hmm on television and in makeup and yeah I love to so. do stretches and headstands and I'd do one for you now if I wasn't in there yeah I was just thinking the dress probably not a good idea <laughs> however those got no yeah so um but also part of your exercise routine too is what you eat and I know that mm -hmm. especially and I've heard you talk about the way that you feed your family and the way that you feed yourself yes and you're even certified right. as a nutritionist yes as so, a health coach now so I've, what kinds of things do you eat and prepare and wow i mean there's an extensive list but i like to eat all your superfoods um lots of goji berries acai acai powder noni What's juice the, yeah, i was going to say every time i read an article Always about you you about mentioned noni, noni juice noni what, is full what is it of vitamins and minerals and antioxidants and it's so good for your skin and where do you get it well, you can buy it, you know, at any health food store. Really? Or you can buy it online. And okay. If you want to look like Miranda Kerr, no need, no need juice. <laughs> and when you were doing your nutrition, mm -hmm. you know, learning about nutrition and your exercise routine, you wrote a book this year. I did, yes. And I got the book, and I must say, I really, there it is right there, Miranda Kerr, Treasure Yourself. Mm -hmm. Um, I really enjoyed it, and I really enjoyed your whole philosophy um, and the way you kind of put it all together. What made you even write a book? I mean, how did it happen? Well, you know, being in the public eye and having a voice like I have and be working with Victoria's Secret, I would go and do a lot of signings and I'd meet a lot of young girls and they would say, I read this interview that you've done and it's really inspired me to take care of myself and now I'm eating better and I'm doing yoga and I'm taking care of myself and I just want to thank you. And I can't wait to hear about, you know, your, ne you're not, your next interview and what your top health secrets are. And, and so then I decided, why don't I write a book? And so it's, you know, it's a personal book. It's about a lot of the struggles that I've been through that have really, you know, that we all go through and challenges that we all have. And I've tried to also include the reader in there. I have a section after, um, yeah, after every chapter. After, after every chapter, it's about getting personal. And, right. You know, so is I, it like a workbook so that they, because I know I was filling it in, but just to tell yeah. people so that they can be the person that's reading it so they can learn something from it 
not just reading it, but actually doing it and practicing what you're talking about. Yeah, I think life is so busy and it really, it's nice to actually give yourself the time to reflect on how you can be better and what you can do to feel better and, and what are your strengths and what are your weaknesses and just having that time and opportunity to reflect yeah. after each chapter. And it's not just, you know, a book that any model wrote. This no. book has been recommended by the Australian government yes. in the top 50 books and it's the number one bestseller in Australia. Yes. So right. it's major, major, yeah. I mean, really, Thank congratulations. You. Thank you. Besides the, um, the nutrition in the book, and I know that you were saying that you're writing a few more books as yeah. well. Yeah, I've got a couple more up my sleeve that I'm working on which we're really looking forward to those. Yeah. Um, but what I've noticed about you lately, because I've known you for, from the beginning, you know, you were a fit model mm -hmm. for us for the fashion show, and we were putting outfits on Miranda, and every outfit looked so amazing, and we put you in the show, and then that's how it all really started. Yeah. So what I wanted to talk to you about um, also is what I've noticed with your transition is that you've become a style icon. So, you know, there's models, and then there's celebrities and you've reached the style icon celebrity status when I'm looking online and I know that you did a lot of the shows in Paris so you've mm -hmm. transitioned to that so Miu Miu and Chanel, Lan Van mm -hmm. and they photograph you at the airport getting out of the car getting in the car going to rehearsal coming and like I see all of your outfits you know everyone can follow you and you're dressing Flynn yes <laughs> very very cute he's so adorable <laughs> it's fun I, I love dressing Flynn and it you know, it's nice because he, he does look like a little mini Orlando and it's fun for me to like buy these clothes and that's similar to what Orlando wears and sometimes I'll bring it home and Orlando's like, hey, that looks exactly like my shirt. <laughs> like, oh, really? I didn't notice that. Oh, really? Hmm. No, but it's so cute, cute and it's nice. But it's so to great to like kind of, you see know. you and see the way that you've really grown to celebrity status. It's really great. No, oh, thanks. Um, we're going to have a few questions from the audience. Okay. And we do have a um, tweet question, which is, what is the one thing that's very important when trying to live a healthy lifestyle? Um, I would say, well, I think your state of mind is really important, like feeding yourself with positive affirmations. Um, is really important and I think especially for women we need to empower each other. Stay positive. Stay positive. And, okay. yeah. and plus there must be a real balance for you between modeling, family, you know everything that you do. How do you maintain that balance between work and well, family? Well Flynn really since I've had him he is my priority and I'm very selective and I work with clients that I love like Victoria's Secret and... Oh go on. Yeah. <laughs> um, but you know, it is a balance and I love to cook and I want to be, you know, in the kitchen making all of Flynn's organic food and, you know, preparing everything that he eats and I love to cook for Orlando and... So that's part of it, cooking so organic, that's part of cooking it. healthy. Cooking healthy and then... Prioritizing. Yeah. Prioritizing your time, getting up a little earlier so that I can play with, yeah. play with Flynn before I go to work yeah. and, yeah. Sounds wonderful. Yeah. So we have a couple questions from the audience. Hi. Go hi, ahead. Hi. I'm Amber Katz from beautybloggingjunkie.com and my question for you is um, how do you balance your beauty routine with your new motherhood schedule? That, yeah, I've really, I have noticed that it's a little challenging but I'm fortunate enough I have my own skincare line, Cora Organics, it's an organic skincare line and I have a three-step program that I follow, cleanse, tone and moisturize and that's simple being a mother and it really helps with my skin and I'll sometimes put a face mask on and Flynn looks Scare at me people. a yeah. little weird, um, but whether it's a hydrating mask, because we've got a hydrating mask and a purifying mask, so I'll put those on like once a week as well. Great. But it definitely, you know, being a mother, it is challenging to get that time. Yes, definitely. Well, thank you. Thanks for your question. And we have one more. Go ahead, sorry. Hi, I'm Christine Bibohar from nycpretty.com, and I'd love to know what, is it, what are some of your favorite memories from the runway, or what's your favorite memory? Wow, my favorite memory was the first time I walked down the Victoria's Secret runway, and it was 2006, and um, I was in the little snow bunny. snow bunny outfit, and I was so excited and all nervous all, all, in, all at once, and... It was just a really great time and um, it was a lot of fun and it was like nothing that I'd ever experienced before. And also wearing the fantasy bra was amazing. And having my husband stand in the audience and clap, that was pretty, that was pretty, cool. pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, 
Thank you. Miranda, okay. thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. Really appreciate it.